guys what's up welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new here my name is steph and today is i hate my wardrobe episode 18 this is an orizio haul now the last couple episodes and the next couple episodes are all hauls and that is strictly because i a wanted to break up my videos um and not like smush it all into a collective haul because that's in my mind like it would just be too long because i want to like try on everything and give you guys initial thoughts and impressions as well but also i think having so many hauls back to back it looks like i've spent a lot of money and i've bought a lot of things which yes and no so i want to say that a lot of these things have been bought since like it's accumulated since december here and i just haven't gotten around to picking things up and unboxing them so um there's that there's also just after doing a huge clear out and living with my wardrobe as is for two ish months with minimal purchasing here um still purchasing but like definitely on like a low buy for the end of the year and even before that i wasn't really buying a ton of stuff um i have really now just been picking up pieces that i have been dreaming about in terms of they live rent free in my head and i'm like okay i've thought about them for long enough i haven't flip-flopped about them so it's time or conversely i've just been picking up more pieces that i already own just in the other colors that i would you know reach for and have been building a really solid 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 staples wardrobe so it's a bit of both and filling those needs that i need in my capsule wardrobe anyways so so how many more times am i gonna say so on my channel please youtube start paying me for every time i say so this aritzio haul is a little bit of an interesting one And I can't believe I bought one of these items. I really can't, but it just, it looks so good. And I'm so excited about it. And it is just, okay. Anyways, so here is the thing, as I say so for like the hundredth time. I, I don't know what it is, but here are two colors that I don't have a lot of in my wardrobe, but have been living in my mind especially right now oh my gosh one is is a dark blue a navy blue and a deep admiral if you will and the other is gray i don't have a lot of gray i don't have a lot of navy but navy has been living in my mind and i don't know what it is i'm like okay here's my here's my thing here's my thing hear me out hear me out gray for the fall winter and navy for the winter spring that's the vision i don't know why that is the vision so we're we're trying to pick up a couple of navy pieces here and there and this one was too good to pass up this is the uh aritzia rodora rodora um top it is a waist length pep slightly peplum top i don't understand i truly thought that i absolutely loathed peplum and to a certain extent i do but something about this very gentle very flouncy peplum situation just does it for me and I think it's because it's so delicate. It looks so feminine, but in this, like it has all of this stitching, which makes it look like it's like, like it looks like faux boning almost in it. It's like corset E sort of vibes. It's a high neck. It's got this kind of square neck that I, you guys know I've been loving and it's navy. It's a deep, deep navy, okay? Here's my sparkling water can, which is like a blue. You can see it picks up the blue, but it's like, it's dark. This might be guys, the going out 
top that I have been needing. And I saw this style with jeans on the website, of course, and you guys know me, I'm a jean gal. So I have four pairs of jeans here that I love. Three are brand new, so of course I love them. And then the one pair that I'm wearing right now, I wear these all the time. And I might just chuck this on with all of them so we can all see what miracle this top is. I, I, I'm obsessed with it. So this top is $98. This is the crepe fabric, which is an anti-wrinkle fabric apparently, um, but it does, it always needs a little steam. So a couple things to note on this guy that are great. It's double lined um, and the inside is actually like a fairly close texture as well. I don't know if it's exactly the same. I think it actually is the same material. I don't know. Anyways, it's double lined, so really structured. It's not boned or ribbed or anything. So very light, very flexible, very comfortable. It has this little pull tab here on the full zipper of the back. So the zipper starts down here. It goes all the way up, which for accessibility purposes, kind of difficult, but the pull tab does make it easier. But for getting it on, you don't have to go over your head, which, okay, today I've been, I wore a white tight shirt today and bought a white tight shirt. And I have been doing a bunch of try-ons for you guys where I'm like trying things on and off. The over the head thing, not only has it messed up this side of my slick back half up, but the risky business of the oily face white t-shirt combo and makeup Anyways, I've been truly living on the edge today. <laughs> the other shirt that I got, which should be kind of a surprise if you guys have seen my I Hate My Wardrobe episode where I talk about my vision and then the one where I actually like have the mood boards and stuff made. Um, this suiting material tube top. It's, it's so good. It's so good. Both of these were bought in a size four. So here's something about this, which is kind of interesting. Um, there is a little bit of grippy rubber on the inside, and I don't actually know what these two tabs are here right at this moment. I'm here like this. I don't know what these are. Can somebody please tell me? Oh, oh, I don't know. Um, I'm sure unsure honestly maybe it's to just pull this through who knows um if somebody could please tell me but it's fully lined again this guy also zips all the way down it has a little button closure um button closures for this sort of stuff easier but i find that they break more than hook eye closures do because of the force of pulling but again this unzips all the way down so it comes completely off. Aritzia, killing the game this year. And even on the inside on initial, okay, so quality of a garment with lining, right? Very basic things. I did not take any sewing classes. I did not take any garment de like design classes. I took merchandising classes. Um, but even so, we were still taught about the quality of stuff. So with this, the way that everything lines up, there's not a ton of gaping. There is a little, a little bit of unevenness, but there's nothing crazy, there's wrinkles. But the seams for the most part are pretty smooth. There's not a ton of puckering. Honestly, pretty well designed. There is a little bit on the side of the tag on mine where the stitching is not as perfect as it could be but overall this the actual build quality of this garment seems to be pretty solid um Arizia has had a lot of quality issues so i'm pointing this out because i sort of am 
very pleasantly surprised this is the quality of that I would expect of Aritzia as an OG consumer from Aritzia. I've been shopping from Aritzia since 2005 maybe. So literally almost two decades of shopping from them now. So this really like these suiting pieces are really giving what they need to give. Like I've been, I just got another chisel skirt, but both chisel skirts that I have, I really, really like them. This quite well made in my opinion for the price. Um, material composition definitely could, you know, I think there's improvement here, but it is premium high straight. It's recycled polyester, lensing, eco vero viscose, and cotton, right? Like expected. But overall, really nice quality, really nice texture, not, not scratchy, scratchy. If you are texturally sensitive, uh, think I would maybe be in. Eh. It's smooth, but it does have a little, almost not grit is the right word, but you know that it, it's smooth, but you definitely feel the texture. So keep that in mind. And yeah, anyways, this is not an FYI before you buy. This is the haul. So let's go try these on. Oh my god, okay. I don't know what it is. I love it. I know it's peplum, okay? I know. But like, it looks, it looks so good. I don't know. I think, I just love it. Okay. So one thing I want to note is for me around my rib cage here, it's a little tight. And I think the fabric will loosen up a little bit. So this is a size four. You guys know I don't have a very large bust. If you have a larger bust than I do, definitely I would recommend sizing up from my initial thoughts. There is room, but I think if you are like If you're a D, I would definitely recommend, or like an E cup and a 32 band um, or 34 band, I would recommend sizing up for sure, just for a little more comfort. You might need to take it in, but definitely in the chest, there's not a lot of stretch in this fabric, but holy, it gives, it gives. May I have your attention please? May I have your attention please? Oh no, please my guy. Thank you for your cooperation. the back oh it's so good okay it's so good I love it I know this is gonna be so controversial but I love it so let me live I need it in every color Oh, this fits like a dream, guys. It's so good. Definitely, if you have a bigger bust, there's still room at the top for sure that you can fill out. Um, but even with the smaller bust that I have, it's great. This looks too good. It looks too good. Look at it. Oh my gosh. I definitely feel like this top is less controversial than the other one, but... Oh, they're both so good. They're kind of in kind, but I love this suiting material. Definitely for the spring, this is something that I'm gonna be wearing, I feel like a lot going forward, and I'm very excited for this. I think for sure I'm gonna take both these tops with me to England, and I'm probably gonna take them to, I don't know if we're going to Europe or not before the wedding in Greece, but definitely to the wedding in Greece, I'll take one or the other top for sure and wear it somehow, but. Yeah, so good. All right, guys, that was my Aritzia haul for I Hate My Wardrobe episode 19, 20, um, anyways, I think 19. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.